Hi everyone, welcome back to Be Rich. Today we're going to talk about something which I read and I wanted to talk to Anand about it and I thought you guys would also be interested in it. It is something called the Icarus Complex. And uh, I read an article recently saying that uh, American capitalism is suffering the Icarus Complex. The story of Icarus is it's a mythology where uh, Icarus is, has wings uh, made out of feathers and wax and he flies too up, uh, too high close to the sun and the wax starts melting and the wings, feathers fall off and he crashes to the ground and he perishes. So, what is this relevant, story's relevance with capitalism in US, Anand? We have the first thing in capitalism. Capitalism is a human creation. True. Like the great Suras said and I wrote today in the Hindu along with Sashvata. Interesting. I hope all of you read that article. It's very interesting. So, I wrote in that along with Shashwata, the about Soros and said that all human actions are fallible. True. But we believe it's infallible. Very true. Right? So, we believe after a point that we can do no wrong. Indestructible. We are indestructible. Yes. But all human actions are fallible. And the, the line between that separates rationality and fallibility is very thin. It's extremely thin. So... You cross it without you realizing it. And suddenly you believe you are rational. And then you suddenly become irrational. irrational. Now, this is not the first time it has happened. Yeah, In this article, he is talking about uh, FTX. Yes. And comparing Sam with uh, uh, Jack Welch, mm. who screwed up. He could, which nobody knows here that the, he, Jack Welch, the years at which he was celebrated at the top, was the reason for the destruction of GE as a company, Correct. whose survival, very survival is a doubt today. Correct. I'm not going to revisit that. Uh, to say that Jack Welch allowed the creation of GV Capital into an unregulated bank, and when 2008 came and the bank, GE Capital took a big hit, Yes. and the repercussions were big for, it Hold went to the industrial empire, heart, the heart of GE, G, yes. and GE could never recover from it. Yes. Similarly, Sam Bankman, in a shorter span of time, created a, the empire. Okay, I think it is the English poet Taylor Cool Coolridge hmm. who said talked about suspending disbelief. True. Okay, what happens in capitalism hmm. is that the idea is that if you have a good idea, hmm. even though you don't have capital, venture funds and others will supply you capital and make you grow big. Very true. That is how you go from low to high. Yes. Now, what has happened in this case is, Sam managed, because he came from a good lineage. His pedigree went, was good. Pedigree was good. He went to Stanford and then to MIT. So, he had a good circle of friends from MIT. These are bright kids. And his parents were both law professors from Stanford. He had a good circle of influence. He had a very high circle of influence. And he got sucked into what is called as effective, a movement called effective altruism, in which you make money mm. to give it away True. and make the life of humans better, that all humans are born equal yes. and to be treated equal. Yes. So they had an office and he worked there for some time. So he had ticked all the boxes. He came from a good pedigree of very bright parents. His father first got him the money. So this guy, what he did is, when he went to go and try trade for a tree called, company called James Tree. Hmm. And there he started to buy bitcoins in America at cheaper prices and sell it in Japan at higher prices. Basically, he was doing an arbitrage trade between Japan and US. True. And so he made millions of dollars. And once he took, he got a fortune. He took that money and started Almedia Research. Almedia Research was a, basically a hedge fund in Bitcoins. Bit, not no, only Bitcoin, all, all cryptos. cryptos. All Sorry, cryptos. Not Bitcoin. So we all keep then he moved over, started FTX. And because of his pedigree hmm. and his success in exploiting an arbitrage trade, and people just queued up to invest in him. Sequoia Capital, you know, Tesmac, the Singapore Fund and everybody. And nobody even did the basic check. That's what is he's talking about, the Keras complex. Correct. With Self-confidence goes to the no, point. No, no, there were some basic things. There was no board of directors. Very true. Okay, there was no board of directors. There was no outside member of the board. There was no audited statement. 
the board, the guys didn't know in which all places they had bank accounts. These are fundamental things. Correct. I should know if I am investing in a company, where are the bank accounts? Who is the director? Is there an audited balance sheet? These are the first things which I will ask. Very true. When I look for a stock, I look at whether these guys, for the fear of FOMO, because money was being printed by the Fed and other central bankers like anything and money was available for free. So they don't, each, the whole idea of this venture capitalist is not any brilliant and all that. The Charlie Munger talks of an incentive, incentive based trading. Mm. In, in incentivized, mm. there was a lot of incentive for them to earn fees and bonuses. So if they applied rationality and did not suspend their disbelief, they would have never invested in Sam. If they didn't invest in Sam, but the other guy, in his friend in the other fund invested Sam and he made the money. He is going to make all the bonuses and the yes. profits and I am going to suck my thumb. True. So envy and jealousy, which are two things which again Charlie Munger says we oh, must yes. avoid. Yes. Also come into play. There is envy, there is jealousy and fear of missing out and the fear, uh, allure of incentives. All the negatives which Charlie Munger talked about in Harvard oh, School. You tick those boxes. It was all there. Okay. Mm. Now Sequoia Capital is making money. It was nobody. Suddenly this is worth $32 billion. Very true. Then everybody has to rush in. Nobody can be foolish enough to drop it. Yes. Now everybody went and a bunch of hedge funds. Daniel Loeb's three-point hedge yeah. fund. You name who's who of Silicon Valley and venture capital, put their money into it. And what at the heart of the day was... He created two companies, which were both owned by him yes. and joined at the hip. Correct. All Correct. these are warning signals. Correct. Now, when you do, do this, due diligence, yes. there is no due diligence. Yeah. Now, if you had done due diligence, you are on the side of rationality. True. The thin line was, Sequoia has done it, so there must be something right about it. Correct. Right? Three point Daniel Loeb has done it, so then he must have seen something. So, okay. I don't even want to wait for me to see the due diligence. Like you always say, don't see Warren Buffett and buy shares. So, I didn't do the due diligence because my friend has already invested. He's already making the money. Correct. So, I crossed the thin line between rationality and fallibility and I go buff bust. In the case of GE, which he talks brilliantly about, he knew plastics industry very well. Very true. Jack Welch came from plastics. True. But he had a super-sized ego like Sam and he wanted to make big profits. He thought he had minus touch. Yeah. So what did he do? He went into an acquisition binge. Yes. He went into acquisition binge. And the stretch profits were met by uh, massaging the books of GE Capital. So GE Capital was unregulated. It was a large bank. And his successor, Jeffrey Imlet, had to unwind that. Yes. And he tried to take over the French firm Alstom at two the same time. That Alstom takeover misfired badly. And 2008 also happened. 2008 happened and GE Capital had to be spun off. And uh, it was mortally injured from there. It GE never, could never recover. No. And both of them used, the only common line is, both of them using expletive, expletives. Yes. In a recent book on GE, mm -hmm. just before he died, Jack Welch said, I effed up. Correct. And Sam is also saying, I effed up. But the point is, both of them have crossed that thin line. Yes. Now, Welsh retired in glory with all the money. Right? Still, he is not going to be punished. He is dead. He is going on, yes. Yeah, he is not going to be punished. Yes. But Sam is going to spend the rest of his life in jail, like Bernie Madoff. Like, and this, the article does not talk about the third thing. Which a lady did, Tonas. Yes. She and just recently has been sentenced for yeah. 11 years. Correct. Now, she knew that the blood test was fake. Correct. She knew everything was fake. But she thought somehow she'll no, no. figure it out. Before. Figure it out later. Yeah. And her said, and she had the same pedigree as uh, this boy. This boy used her parents, made money, and then blamed her boyfriend for it. And even here, the supposed girlfriend of uh, Sam. Sam was the chief of our media. And his best, who was once his time, upon a time his girlfriend. And today his best friend's girlfriend 
was the head of HR. Now, all these were warning signs. We have seen this in Indian companies too, right? In some US you, see, you will see it everywhere. Money is easy. When I talked about crypto, I was dismissed as an old coot who didn't understand everything. True. When I talked about Zomato, I was an idiot. And I told you so. Yes, I agree. Okay. Thank I you for. I my humble pie when you tell me to eat, Anand. I have no problem. Okay. Thank you for watching, Be Rich. If you like this video, kindly hit the like button of this video. Kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification. If you do not turn on the bell notification, you will not be notified every time we put out a video. Once again, I thank you for your support for Be Rich. And keep those comments coming, guys. Anything constructive, we always try to implement and bring into the channel. And we do enjoy the other comments too. Thank you. Welcome back to Be Rich. In the first week of December, between 8th and 12th of December, I plan to be in Muscat in the Sultanate of Oman. Those who would like to see me in Oman can get in touch with my team. There's a WhatsApp number given below and there's an email ID also given below. So those desirous of getting in touch with me at the Sultanate of Oman, especially in the city of Muscat from 8th to 12th of December, can definitely contact me there. I hope to see you all in Oman soon. Thank you for watching. Be rich. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.